So God bless you and thank you for joining me today. As you can see on the top of your screen, it's pretty dark and there's a storm that is coming. It's a little bit breezy. I don't know why I feel like I need to give you weather reports when I'm outside, but it's a little chilly, but I do love it anyways. So thanks for joining me today. So remember when Jesus said, pick up your cross and follow me and have your best life ever? Yeah, I don't remember that. That never happened either. But we as believers, we need to be paying attention to what we're hearing and to whom we're, whom we're listening to because there are many of you who listen to these people that say these things and they say God said and it didn't happen or, or they say Jesus told them and it didn't happen. So we need to do some inventory if we're spending our time listening to people who say God said something and it didn't happen or they're telling something, you know, following Jesus, it's sunshine and puppies and kitties and rainbows and ice cream and everything wonderful. And that there's never anything that you have to endure as a believer. So let's take a look here in the book of John. This is chapter 16. Jesus says this in verse 31, Jesus answered them, do you now believe the hour is coming indeed it has come when you will be scattered, each one of you to his home, and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have said this to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage. I have conquered the world. In the world you face persecution. Doesn't that sound like the opposite of having your best life? So I think when we are looking into really what does the Bible say and now we think that there's absolutely no struggles struggles no trials no tribulations nothing that we have to go to the book of James verse 1 James a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes in the dispersion greetings my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of any kind consider it nothing but joy wait I thought we were supposed to have our best life but this says, brothers and sisters, these are believers, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. So we have many pastors who preach, it's just your best life, your best life is here. Our best life is to come. Nowhere in scripture does it say you're not going to have trials and you're not going to have tribulations. And I know there are pastors that preach this and it's all sunshine and kittens and ice cream and rainbows and candy and all of this goodness. But there are trials and there are tribulations for believers. This is why Jesus said to follow him and to lay it all down because you can't just have the good parts. And the good part is our eternity, our salvation. You can't just have the good parts without having trials and tribulations. That's just the way it works. And I'm sorry if somebody told you something opposite, but this is just the way it is. So for believers, how do we handle those trials and tribulations? It says, count them as joy. So armor up, we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.